not see. So yeah, I've played this before, so uh all the medium. The fucking aim assist. A Hangar 13 game based on an original game by Illustration Softworks. Tommy, Thomas Angelo, Detective Norman. Detective. You alone? <laughs> no self-respect and badges coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just the coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No thanks. Suit yourself. So yeah. Said on the phone, you might have a proposition for me. That's right. But if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you called the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Well, let's hear it. How long you been in town? Three years. 
Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, they handed you the Morello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up? Yeah. I might have something. And what's my end of the deal? Uh, you want money? Some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. And no one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. Pa always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. And your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is, you got someone powerful mean on your tail, and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. Boss, yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, it looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. Christ, I don't know how everything got so balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed a heater in the nursery, did you? No. <laughs> I was a cab driver back in 30. Offer you can't refuse. 1930. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts, when I first met Polly and Sam. Shit! Questions. We need to get over the river. Take the Giuliani Bridge. Oh, uh, okay. Guys, there's so much blood on this thing. Go pay up there. Hurts like hell. When we're back, I'll wake up the dock. I don't know. It might be okay. Just getting the call, anyways. Hey, I see you listening, cabbie. You don't get to listen either. All I'm doing is taking you guys where you want to go. So do that. Okay, we're at the river. Where am I taking you once we're over the bridge? I'm getting tired out of questions. Where the blood? 
Why are you telling me to open up the map? I. Poor bastards digging the road for the works program aren't gonna thank us for this. Three crates down. How many motors were at the exchange? Four. Okay. Five, maybe. Damn, no one him, he's called for more. Sure feels like it. <laughs> Next time, we take more muscle. We should have expected trouble. But if the boss hears about this, they'll be hell to pay. Poor car. This is not going well. Look out! Get the fuck out the road, dude. We got these guys real pissed. They must have sent word out. There's more and more of them. We're not gonna last long unless we're back on our own turf. Let's get back to the neighborhood. Dude, shut up, I get it. Zip it tight. We talk it through back at the bar. Well, that was close. Everything's fine now. Nothing was wrong. Okay, we're close. Pull over in front of that bar. Celieri's place. Yeah, that's the one.
way here. What for? You want a little something from the Don or not? Looks like we're about to have some trouble. Compensation for your services. Any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Silieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asked where you got that money? You wanted it poker. The scratches on your car. You swerved. To keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? Nah, of course. See you around, kid. Okay. See you around. When I opened the envelope, I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. Chapter complete. An offer you can't refuse. Continue. Good first start. Amazing, beautiful. 1930. Good running. After that night with Celieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. You there, driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. Okay. Oh. Hurry up, I have an appointment. So where to? St. Michael's Church, directly. Careful, please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. Turn that racket off. I can't hear myself think. That's what much a better. Karen. So, church. It's Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please. I've always got my eye on the road. I was here for a bitch. How do I home? I fought the road, road laws of traffic.
I ain't trying to kill nobody. I need not yet. St. Michael's. That'll be 30 cents. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Sure. Whatever you say. These Italians are all the same. Italians! I'll tell you what, bitch. Better find a new fare. Lost. Let's see how I'm at right now. Let's just search the streets of lost heaven. Where is lost heaven? Is this just. Is this entire place just lost heaven? I have no idea. traffic laws work, but I'm wrong. Over here! Pop on in. Art gallery. Give me that quick. Sure. Quick I can do. Taking some time out. What's it to you? Not much. Just talking. I'm paying you to drive, so do that. Why? Look at him out there. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Sold up before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day is gonna be looking at old paintings? I have a business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. Until then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. I think taxi is a very perfect job for people who like to drive. It's just not for money. Just hit the police. That would have been bad. Pull 
out in front of the gallery. Thanks, pal. Here's 50 cents. I don't spend it all at once. I'll try not to. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. On to the next. You should become a, ma a mafia boss. Okay. Oh. oh, there is street lights. Apparently, I'm not paying good attention. Taxi. Damn a taxi. So what? Actually, I'm not a person in a taxi, but so what? Oh boy, you look like shit. I've been working since five. What's your excuse? Booze. Figures. Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. Of course. Okay. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. Got any good fares today? Yeah, some. But never enough of them. Who's got the money for cab rides since the market tanked and it all went to shit, I guess. Only reason I got you taking me places is I'm drunk and don't know better. Cops see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen go after guys for less. Guess so. If they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. <laughs> This city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. I must do this conversation. Turn the music back on. Actually, I don't know if that's got the right one. I should probably check with this like a streamer mode. So it turns off all copyright music. What if this guy's a part of the mafia? Ah, nearly there. Just up here on, on the corner, please. Oops, sorry. Who got this hack? It's the frickin' thing! Shut up! A-hole. Hey, my cousin has a coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucio sent you. Take a break, huh? Thanks. Might just do that. Whoa, Jesus! Oh. Hey, how you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? Huh? What the hell? <clears throat> Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go help him sell Gary's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much rocking for a while, eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. Uh, uh... Jumping over a fence is not a good idea when you're being shot at. Whatever, it's just a game. You are sucked!
Doing, kid. Dino, Lou, you got business with the Don? Nah, we just trying to talk to that cabbie over there. That's all. That right? Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you got to say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed. That's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Oh, shoot, bro, we got some metal on our Peter. side. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. <laughs> Thanks. At least we could do. Come on, let's go say hi to the Don. Don Silieri? Yeah. He's gonna want to hear about this. Chapter complete. Yay. Here we are. Molotov's party in 1930. What do they call you, son? Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi, that's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas grills hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hardworking Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. The and Tommy, when you get back, oh, yeah. we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. Okay. I got Boss it. finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. I don't even know what's the case. Who's the new guy? Some cabbie. We're helping him out. He's gonna drive the boss? Nah, you don't lose your job that easy. I hate sitting around. Born in... Don Sillier, I'm writing to let you know of my joy to hear that you will be attending the wedding of my daughter. Please, if there are any further arrangements you would wish for, let me know. It will be a wonderful day, and for the world to see that the, that the occasion has your blessing, you will make it even more special and memorable. Your loyal friend, Giovanni Romano. So, find anything good? Yeah, I... I'm watching. You got I don't it. get what his problem is. I get it. Polly. What do you oh, think yeah. I gotta do to? I think you shouldn't ask me, Carlo. Not gonna give a good answer. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any uh, 
heavy lifting to make sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. Okay. Doing a Vincenzo. Ciao, Polly. Oh, she's gonna sing. <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny. This here's Tommy Angelou. We're doing a little job together. All right. Good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> <laughs> If the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Todd. Well, Let I don't know if Paul gives you the heart. Where'd I freaking put I'll all those? I'll them out. What's that? Can I come back here? Come back and see me later if the boys don't scare you away. I'll fix you with a, a gap. Pulp magazine. Oh. You can look around, sure. Ralphie's in the but garage. He's a special room. kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. Let's go I don't get how this moron gets interested in her. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. It sounds like a mage. <laughs> Polly, you can't, 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 can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sure, 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 sure Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Good to meet you. Like I said. Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 ride, but it, it'll get you across the, the, the town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> Something. One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull giving us this motor. I want to show you something about the good life and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cap. You don't have to be nice about it. Stick's a tin can. So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep. New supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop-off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you got a torch, he's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay, as long as we're careful. And hey, it's their cars we're wrecking today, not this junker. Softball, it we're okay, it. as long as we're careful. An eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through. You want a bottle? Just ask. We'll keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. To us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food, best skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to send fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. 
Either that, or you hit them so hard they don't remember it. I like that one. I ain't skipping the drive. I like driving. How far away is it? It's not that far. Get on to Morello's turf now. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk, in a wrong part of town, and you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. My car is dying, what the heck? Oh no, we're going up. Yeah. Okay, it's close by. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. They put some guerrilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. And a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. Okay. I'm not gonna get shot. I'm better than that. Okay. Go quiet. You know how to go quiet, right? Yeah, awesome. like that. Yeah, he's got his name, guys. You'll get there someday. Sweet. No one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. Get over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their jump busy while you creep up and jump from behind. I'm real good at distracting. It's the best thing. Ah, Shh, shut shut up. You guys in the city real pissed. Make some careful. No. This is what it's like to be a mafia. I'm a mafia. I know what the freak is to be a mafia. That doesn't mean. So let's get to these cars. Take your bat and start swinging. <laughs> Look on these little pieces is gonna be priceless. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Get away from the car! Knock it down, Tom! You got some kind of death wish? Hmm? Hey. Jesus! <laughs> Just like that, you got it! Good, Tom, quick! There's gonna be more of them! Use a Molotov and let's see some... Love your work! Whole block hurt that. We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you, and you got a good car? I'm gonna know where you Reports of burning vehicles and gunfire in North Park. It's right near Morello's place. Don't bring in the wrong people. Old ways are the best ways. Straight through the gate! We gotta get out of here before the bulls show! There's Don't let him get away! Drive! Come back, Die. you bastards! Oh, 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 shit. 
We got cops. So, uh, what do we do? We lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed. But let's not get them real pissed. See the boss. Mr. Fire. I thought Celieri we'll had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. Well, that's not good. How'd it feel? Feel good? How'd what feel? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. There's no time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. There's busy days, there's slow days. I've had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, I knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, drive careful, we don't need the attention. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now and we need an old bed. Lose the cops! Down there's either drunk or crazy. Damn it. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a family you had to have more connections. Your brother or your uncle or... Well, what happened to the car I sent you out with? Dumped it. Well, why? It was a boiler. This one's better. Up of a better car with a broken window? Fresh air never killed nobody. And then a magazine. Still with you then? Somehow, yeah. Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not gonna be able to think straight for weeks. See, that's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella, yeah, he's a hothead. And all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you. But you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Oh, oh, Second, okay. <laughs> we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. 
And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm going to only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. There's a lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? Family? Art? I don't know. They're loyal. That's right. Loyal. I you knew it. I got me. it right. I'm upset. You're going to be living the high life, Tom. I'm like Frank. But you abuse my trust. <sighs> Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Yay! Finally, now by the mafia. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook, but his daughter Sarah, Maron. What does that mean? Someone please tell me. Chapter complete. Ordinary routine. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. Come on, <laughs> but what did I know? Feet. You, Tommy? Come on, yeah. The gas in your boss is waiting for you. Thanks. I'm gonna leave this video here. I think that's enough for today.